iron in the soul. What's up? This is Iron the So. Back today with another video. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my content. Let's do some work. I've given today's video the title. Semen retention gives you stability in the midst of chaos. I think this is such a word in season. I believe in giving a rhema word or a word that's in season. We think about the word the most I got. You have the Logos and the Rhema word. The Logos is what we have that's actually recorded in the whole canon of the Bible. And then you have the Rhema word, which is a uh, word of wisdom, or another way of putting it, a right now spoken word for an individual that is specific or specific to what is happening right now today. And so I think this serves as a Rhema word. With all of the civil unrest that is happening nationwide, with the Supreme Court decisions, the protest. Um, we see citizens in contests with police officers. Now watch the video on Instagram, as I'm sure many of you have seen as well, where a man is trying to leave in his truck and he's stopped by like five or six people who are trying to stop him from driving his car. And you know, you see this type of stuff day by day and just the confusion, a quick um, glance at Twitter will let you know that a lot of people right now are not happy there's a lot of different opinions and some very controversial statements have been made by some key people um, online very publicly and very direct words and so there seems to be just a lot of conflict on every hand confusion and the scripture clearly says that God is not the author of confusion let me say that again God is not the author of so we have a lot of confusion. There are evil spirits somewhere. There's destruction somewhere. There is curses somewhere. So whenever you have confusion, curses, destruction, someone has to be the voice of reason. Someone has to have something to say, to give guidance, to give direction. And when you as a man can discipline yourself with this discipline. You do become that voice of reasoning. This is nothing new that I've made up. This is a pretty known concept within a community, the community at this point. And that is retention will help you to become a leader amongst men. Okay. Many of you guys listen to me and other guys online because of some of the talks we've done on this subject. And so it positions you to be taken seriously by people. You know the benefits, we don't have to go down that list again of mental clarity, stabilizing your body, your nervous system, being more poised, being more polished in your conversation, your conduct, the way you carry yourself, your disposition, your aura, your countenance or your appearance, your face, your eyes, your voice, everything is sharper. You look well put together. You feel better. And I was reading today some posts on Twitter about retention. And I noticed that there were a few women who commented. And they didn't like it. They, they said this is basically placebo effect. There's no real science to back this. And that's just not true. Right now, there is a need for strong leadership. For stable men. Who can make clear decisions. Who will be able to shoulder the responsibilities and also the pressure that's going to come our way. And so I do believe that during all that's going on right now with the Supreme Court decision, the unrest, and just the need to really make some decisions and, and when it comes to, to the context of your sex life, you got to be smart. It's always been that way. You know, this is not this something new. You know, there is no such thing as intercourse or sex without consequence. Soul ties are real. Spirits are real. The incubus, succubus spirit. All that stuff is what it is. The Jezebel spirit. 
And so it's important that you stabilize yourself in the midst of all the confusion. If you do not do that, then you put yourself in a position where you're going to be prey to all type of vices, all type of financial problems, and pretty soon possibly some legal consequences as well. So it is wise for you during this time of confusion, stress, financial pressures others are under. A lot of people are angry right now. Every time you look up and look at the news, there's been another violent outbreak. Even in Chicago recently with a five-year-old girl, five-month-old girl, excuse me, losing her life from gun violence in Chicago. So there is a consistent flood of news each day with the results of what is happening in the world we live in. And as a critical thinker, as a man, as you see all of this, logically you think, okay, how do I position myself? How do I stabilize myself in the midst of all this? And one way is through retention. Now, I've made this clear before in the past, make it clear again. Semen retention is not God. That retention doesn't replace God, doesn't replace your need for religion and your need for spirituality. There, there is a distinction between spirituality and religion. Spirituality, to me, is manifest in, in not just what you don't do, but what you do. Spirituality is prayer daily. Meditation on the work, the work of God. How you treat people. Treating your neighbor as yourself. That's what it means to be spiritual. You which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. So it's your energy, your spirit. That's spirituality. Religion is just, if, if not careful, it's, it's following a list of do's and don'ts. And while we need a structure for ourselves, we need guidance, we need um, parameters that we keep ourselves um, away from danger. We need guidelines, we need principles from God's word. That's important. Um, but at times, religion can be used to mask a true demonic agenda. And there have been times people have used religion to mask racism, to mask all types of evil. So with that being said, retention doesn't replace God. You still have to pray. You still have to spend time in meditation. You still have to work hard. You stay. You have to discipline yourself and get into the gym. You have to do what is necessary to level yourself up. And so I'm just suggesting that retention can be used in that process as kind of a stabilizing discipline that is so important for many men. So I encourage you to practice this during this season of transition in our nation. This is your brother, Iron and Soul. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening. God bless. Take care.